All right, what's going on, guys? So we've done a range test two times now with the Mini 4 Pro. And basically what I want to see is if the Mavic 3 Classic will go as far, if not further, than the Mini 4 Pro. Now, we did the range test with two different batteries, and we did the initial range test. So at the furthest, we were able to get the Mini 4 Pro about 12,666 feet away and that was the furthest we got before we had a loss in signal and then the drone returned home we're going to be doing the mavic 3 classic so without further ado let's get this baby up in the air <clears throat> all right we are also doing a screen recording on the Classic 3's uh, Pro RC controller. Let's go ahead and get this. We're going to put this up at 300 and basically 90 feet, pretty much where we were with the Mini 4 Pro. And then we were going to send it. <clears throat> we'll try this. <clears throat> All right, we got 21 satellites, we got 95% battery, about 29 to 30-ish minute flight time. So we currently have drone straight ahead of me right there. We have five bars on the RC, 21 satellites. We're 396 feet, 1300 feet currently at top speed of 33 miles an hour. Tilt this gimbal down a little bit so we can capture some of that horizon there. Um, so I think I've done a range test on the Mavic 3 Classic before, basically when I first got it and did a review on it and stuff. And uh, I mean, we got we were able to get a pretty good signal pretty far away. So we've already dropped down to three bars on the RC. The RC, this one specifically has the Antennas built into the top up here. Keep this thing pointed towards the drone as best as possible. So right now we have... Yes, thank you. We have three bars on the RC. There are no antennas with this. There are also no antennas with the RCN2 controller that I have with the Mini 4 Pro. I understand that, thank you. We'll drop it down here a little bit, so this way you quit yelling at me. So we're about three minutes into the flight. 5,400 feet right now. Two bars on the RC. We are full stick forward, 33 and a half miles an hour. 24 satellites. So let's see if we can get this to 12,000 feet, because honestly, I feel that the Mini 4 Pro has a better range than the Mavic 3 series, including the Classic, which is only about a year old. So, I mean, it is what it is. Recording in 4K, uh, you do have 5.1K with the Mavic 3 Classic, and I think a lot better dynamic range, but that's just my opinion. We're at 7,700 feet right now. We got three bars, four bars on the RC. Keeps going up and down, but we're going to see how far we can push this guy. So I will say this much as of right now that the All right, I just want to make sure we're still recording. I'm sorry. So I will say as far as connectivity goes that the Mavic 3 Classic has seemed to be doing a little bit of a better job. I really haven't had too much drop in the RC with the connection to the drone. Right now, we are currently at 10,400. We have red signal now. Uh, 
don't know how much further I can hold this up. All right, so I'm definitely starting to get some choppy feed. The drone is still going, but nothing on the feed is really doing anything. So, essentially... <clears throat> Alright, it's doing a return to home. So, 12,000 feet. So, we lost signal. This is the scary part, is when you lose connection to the drone this far away. So, finally got signal back in. And uh, so, yeah, uh, it was pretty close to where we were able to get with the Mini 4 Pro um, on the first flight range test out. I got 12,666 feet. It was basically when the RC lost connection, so uh, I will say that I feel that the connection was a little bit more rock steady on the Mini 4, and that's just my own personal opinion, um, especially when we got to that 10,000, 12,000 foot range, but I would say that they both, they both did pretty comparably to each other so there's that <clears throat> now would I say the Mavic 3 Classic is better than the Mini 4 Pro absolutely not depends I guess on what you're looking to do with the drone so the Mini 4 Pro is definitely better for just content creation if you want to go out fly you don't want to have to drag around a giant drone I uh, will say that I think that the video quality itself is better on the the Mavic 3 Classic than the Mini 4 Pro. And that's just my opinion. Obviously, you get a larger sensor with the Mavic 3 Classic. But for a small, compact, lightweight drone that you don't have to register and you can basically pretty much fly anywhere, uh, I think that the Mini 4 Pro is pretty decent. So, just waiting for this guy to return home. Now, I know that there's going to be some people in the comments going, Oh, you should have moved the drone, or you should have moved the controller. It's like, dude, I had the, the fucking controller pointed towards the drone at all time. I mean, there's no way, like, unless I sat on top of my roof, which I honestly don't think is going to help too much more, but there's just too many trees, houses, and telephone poles, and cable wires, and, like, electric electrical wires in the way that are causing interference.
Alright, so if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, also give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. I'm Jordan, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.